on all of this is Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn, a member of the Senate Judiciary, Finance, and Veterans Affairs Committees. Senator, great to see you. Thanks so much for being here. What's your reaction to this you now, too. the White House passing on the TikTok opportunity? Maria, this was a Chinese-style solution to a very American issue, which is preserving the privacy of our citizens and not having this data shared with the Chinese Communist Party. You know, why would we choose to do what TikTok has already done, and that is to give the government access. We would never want the government to have a kill switch over content. Yeah. We would never want the federal government to be picking boards of directors for different companies. This, it was not something that was going to work. Project Texas was never going to come about. Yep. And what we need to do is see TikTok divest. Yeah, it's a great point all around. I want to get your take. On, on the Trump trial, in less than an hour, the 12 New York City jurors in the former president's yeah. Manhattan trial will continue to deliberate uh, his fate. The jury asking to hear the testimonies of David Pecker and Michael Cohen yesterday. Uh, and they also needed the instructions on how to consider evidence again. Here's what President Trump said afterwards. Watch. Mother Teresa could not beat these charges. These charges are rigged. You have a trial like this, where the judge is so conflicted he can't breathe. He's got to do his job. And it's not for me that I can tell you. It's a disgrace. And I mean that Mother Teresa could not beat those charges, but we'll see. We'll see how we do. It's a very disgraceful situation. And, Senator, one of the rules which the judge passed on to the jury was that they don't have to agree on a secondary crime. Just pick a crime. Whatever the crime is that you think he did as a secondary crime, uh, that's fine. Even though you need a unanimous ruling, uh, he says they don't have to agree on the secondary crime. Your, your reaction to all of this, Senator? Maria, you just can't make it up. And when you look at Judge Mershon and how he has approached this, what you're seeing play out is they've decided they're going to find somebody, they're going to find President Trump guilty of some something. President Biden has already said he's going to address the nation after the verdict comes out. Now, this is the weaponization of our judicial system. The American people saw this start during the Clinton administration. They have watched the Democrats become more bold and more brazen and now you have this. And it is why so many of my friends who are Democrats and independents say, you know what, we're going to back President Trump. They've never voted for him before. But what they see is weaponization, and they know if you can do this to a former president of the United States, that they can do it to you. Yeah. And what they're wanting to see is a riddance of this two tiers of justice. So I've stood with President Trump since day one. I'm standing with him again. And, and of course, he's standing with you, Senator. Uh, Trump endorsed you for your yes. reelection bid on Sunday. He said on Truth Social, Marsha has been with me from the very beginning, helping advance our America First agenda. Yes. Congratulations uh, to you on that endorsement, Senator. Thank you. Uh, and, Thank you so much. Yeah, and uh, your viewers can keep up with our campaign at MarshaBlackburn.com. And it is such an honor for me to stand with President Trump. The American people know they were better off under President Donald Trump. And you were just going through some of the numbers that are coming out, Maria. They are tired of not being able to afford to go to the grocery store and the gas station on the same day. They're sick and tired of this open border that is wide open, yeah. and they are looking for action on day one. Yeah, and Customs and Border Protection reporting over 52,000 special interest aliens have been apprehended by border agents so far this fiscal year. Yeah. This is another thing that people want change. They are, these are illegal migrants from countries with potential national security concerns. They could be on the terrorist watch list. Yeah. Nearly 90 percent have been encountered at the San Diego sector. Border Patrol sources also told Fox that 184,000 known gotaways have crossed since October 1st. Senator, you and your GOP colleagues wrote to Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman uh, Dick Durbin requesting he schedule a markup of the bipartisan Lakin-Riley Act. Do you think that'll take place? 
We are pushing for this and also my CLEAR Act. We're trying to get, that would require deporting your criminal illegal aliens. Maria, everybody ought to agree if you are an illegal alien in this country and you've committed a crime, you need to be deported. If you were a visa holder and did that, or here on a work permit and committed a crime, you would be deported. So let's not give special protection to illegal aliens who have committed a crime. They should be deported. Mm -hmm. So what do you think this is about? I'm asking everyone, I don't understand the motivation to have this wide open border and put our country in such a vulnerable position. We know that there are, what, yeah. 50,000 Chinese nationals that have come into America just since October. That's right. Uh, 50,000 from China, that's like a mini army. What is Xi Jinping doing? What Xi Jinping and others are doing is sending people here who are not friendly to the United States. Talk to Border Patrol. Go to the border. You've been there, Maria. Most of these individuals are single, young, male adults. And this is who is coming in the country. And it should cause great alarm. These 50-something these thousand from countries of interest, the 180,000 of the unknown of the known gotaways. Maria, these, many of these individuals, not all, but many are coming here with ill intent. The drugs, the human trafficking, the gangs, the crime. I'm in every county in this state every year. And in my county meetings, the law enforcement officers, the city councils, the county commissions all talk about right. drugs, fentanyl, and all of this crime with gangs. Communities that have never had a gang now have gangs. And they're very concerned about this. And many of these are the Venezuelan Trandeagua gangs, they're MS-13 gangs, they're El Salvadoran gangs, and they're saying, help us secure the border so we can do our job and protect our citizens. Well, it's quite extraordinary. And the cartels, how much are they taking home? I mean, they're charging people upwards of $10,000 to $50,000 a head Absolutely. to pay off the cartels. Yeah. That's right. And if you can't pay your fee to get in the country, they're going to put that bracelet on you. They're going to ban you. They're going to put you to work for the cartel, distributing mm. drugs and doing carjackings and smash and grabs with gangs. Or put you into a labor crew. And what they're doing to the children, the 85,000 children that HHS still to this day, Secretary Becerra yeah. still cannot give me an answer on what have you done with these 85,000 children. Some, we know because of reporting, are working in factories. Yeah. Others, Maria, we don't know if they're being sex trafficked or where these children are. Oh, it's just devastating. Senator, thank you. We'll keep the spotlight on it.